Cycling was not part of my family. Uh, I started cycling uh, as a young kid. I always liked to ride the bike. Uh, I liked to ride it fast. I wanted to go to school as fast as possible. So always uh, started too late to, to go to school, but still ended up on time. And uh, then I saw cycling on television and uh, thought, uh, that's the sport I like to do. Uh, yeah, my brother was uh, too young to start cycling uh, when I started it, but uh, yeah, then he got used to uh, see me cycling and, uh, and he also wanted to do it. And since then, we, we're both on the bike. I like to being out. It's, uh, on the bike, you can make high speed with your own force. It's, it's not a motor or anything, you do it yourself and you, you can go out and, and go for 200 k's. And, and then in the races, it's the competition, uh, that's, that's real stuff. Yeah, I like to see uh, some nice races on television. I prefer to do it always when I'm on the couch and I see a race. Then I'm thinking, why am I not riding there? But, uh, you already do enough races, but <laughs> still, always when I see people cycling, yeah, I'm yeah. on the bike. Uh, already when I was young, I liked the, the classics uh, a lot because it, yeah, it's a tough, ra tough races, and uh, I think it's also the coolest races, and uh, I'm happy I'm also good in the races now. Winning uh, Parero Bay was something really special um, because it was my dream race. But my motivation didn't change because now I want to win it twice. It's, it's nice to, to come home uh, when I win and uh, it's nice to have uh, the family that supports you and uh, it's really nice to see you when they're also happy for you when you win. I met Ramona actually uh, the year be before I uh, became a professional rider. She was always there and uh, of course she was a big supporter of me. And, uh, and Luca is now seven years old, so uh, his whole life I'm, I'm a cyclist and uh, so he is three. But it's nice to see they also like cycling and especially Luca. He, uh, he's crazy about cycling. Time trial. He's even got a an arrow suit of the the Dutch national selection, a speed suit of uh, an expensive speed suit because they made it for me, but. Something went wrong and then it was way too little, so now he's got an arrow suit uh, that fits him well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he recognizes me uh, really well, actually. If you see a group of 200 rider, riders on the, on the television, he can pick me out, like, that's daddy. When I don't win enough, uh, I also hear it from Luca, he's really saying, uh, oh. It's the time you win again. I know, I'm trying, and uh, it's funny, he understands it. With some training camps, it's, it's, it can be really boring also. Uh, and then when you come home, it's suddenly busy, and uh, you have to really switch. Especially if you come back from a Grand Tour, uh, every, everything is done for you. Uh, they cook for you, they, they, clean, they clean the dishes, they wash your uh, clothes, everything, everything is uh, settled for us. So then we come home and then, yeah, I have to put my plate in, in the dishwasher myself and stuff like this. Uh, yeah, sometimes you need some days to adapt. I especially miss the kids a lot. Um, and for them it's also hard because sometimes uh, I go away now, I go for four weeks to, to Spain for the Vuelta. I'm happy uh, with the technology these days, we can do some FaceTiming every day and uh, hopefully the internet is good in, uh, in the hotels. So we still have some contact but still you're not around. And, uh,
I miss most uh, the simple things. Just being at home and, and, and hug them. That, just the simple things, actually. Nothing special, just being there, give them a hug uh, when they go to, to bed, or uh, just being on the couch with them, uh, watching a Disney film. It's just, uh, yeah, being there. Hello. Can you try, Zoe? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm.